we are reviewing Olami's latest body of work titled Woo! Lagos Now. Yes. This yes. is his seventh album, solo album. Yes. Seven. That's it's phenomenal from 2011 to 2017. That's huge. Yes. 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 It is a strike. Uh, Lagos Now has 17 tracks. Guest acts include Timaya Remini, Fino, and Tiwa Savage. This is quite light for Olami because Olami likes to pack. Bubuyu on his album, but this one keeps it. Yeah, new kids, but this one keeps it minimal. Why? Why do you think? He, why do you think he did? He did desire to do this on his album. I mean, in the past, it's been a case of him trying to build a platform for new guys and new boys like Anchin Koyo and Street Talk and all those guys. But now, it's not really involved in that space anymore. And also, I feel like the old album has a feel of someone that doesn't have anything to keep anymore. So it's in his comfort zone. He's just collaborating with people he feels comfortable with. Alright, Joey. Well, I just think it's the, the nature of the sound. We'll talk more about it later, but I don't think he's found like artists that would fit into the nature of the sound and properly execute his ideas. Uh, cool. The theme of this album, Lagos Nawa, is pretty much what you hear on any Olamide album. Partying, rapping about haters, and from the street narrative, and of course, Olo Show music, you know, because that's what Olamide is about. Don't you think Olamide should have evolved since at least 2011? Come on, man. we shouldn't be rapping about some of these things anymore. So, you know, it's a new level of, you know, new themes, new concepts. But it seems stuck on this winning formula that some of us are getting tired of. Well, well, like you said, what else is there to evolve to? There is a point. Look, you can't evolve. Look. Especially in the Nigerian music industry. Do you want him to misrepresent himself? Because that's where yes, it's, it's what he's been about. If, Ol- if Olamide begins to sing about my country, people, government, help us. It's no longer Olamide. It's not like Olamide. Well, can, even, Olamide though, even, with this, even with these things, there can be new angles yeah, yeah. which can push them. Bro. It seems he's still doing the normal street general, I'll see the street guy thing. Like. And he has young John with him. And when they create music, you already know what they're doing. I think she's gonna have some of this and a young John, but later on we'll talk about the production. Okay, let's move away from the theme, which is still normally what you get from any Olamide album. Production was primarily done by Young John, who has done a couple of hits for Olamide back in the day. Only one song was produced by Olamide himself. Now this album is type is subtitled Wobe Sound, which I see as a more gritty street oriented sound that the likes of Small Doctor, Tweety Bird and Co have been using for a while. And Olamide really tries to bring his hip hop feel to it. The big question, did it work or did it not work for him on this album? Because the, we've had a lot of back and forth online. Oh, this album is dope, dope this album is whack. Shaggy, what do you think about Wobe Sound, Olamide's Wobe Sound? But you stick on so, so I understand the context. I mean, it's the streets. He's trying to create something for his core families. The guys on the mainland will listen to his stuff without any care for your like, pattern or techniques. They just want to hear something that sounds good. And if he was looking at those guys and trying to create music for those guys, on that would like techniques. It would make a lot of sense. But then the execution of the album makes that really sound seem like an excuse. Because you're taking this concept, you're taking this audience, but you're not executing it for you supposed to come out and the one person I blame for all of this is John John because production is extremely so far. I mean the biggest hits on the streets now songs by like Small Doctor have guys at the, behind the board who understand what it's supposed to sound like it's heavy thumping this like the kicks coming you know what this is going to be about here is just someone who lacks a lot of confidence there's no direction it's just sort of it's very soft yeah. yeah. so it doesn't, doesn't come out like yeah. it doesn't agree with the for me, I don't know what you guys listen, but from what I heard, mm, I wouldn't exactly say this is so far in that sense because you know, Wobi now, Wobi from the street, we understand what the original Wobi is, but when you want to bring Wobi on a mainstream project, you have to make concessions. Okay? Allow me, they did that. This thumping bass and all of that, yes, they're cool, but you're looking for something that is intrinsically Wobi but can still attract other people That's a little yeah. complex I, I know, it's a, it's, it's a leap <laughs> but Olami, they attempted something here and then uh, dedicating it to Lagos, all of that I, 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 but then I feel like, is, yes, there, might be, there can be improvements but it's not like, I wouldn't say it's like I'm saying would be you're, you're saying you want to create a sound for your core fan base that everybody can relate to but then this is not something that is core fan base yeah. Latch on to in the first place. I've talked to a lot of people. But some of his co fans are people saying, people sending messages yeah, all over yeah, the yeah, country. They, they love the album. I mean, that's, it's this Bando album is the end. best it's Bado, Bado album. Is Bado. But Bado I think at, at this point in Olamide's career, I think his brand is doing more of 
the crucial for him than the quality of music itself. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, they wise J from Facebook says, I'll give the album a pass mark. Yeah. Okay. It's a cool thing. It's a cool thing. Now let's move over to the top five tracks on the album. One track that I think I enjoy on the album is Radio Lagos. Listen to it, you know, for a few seconds, then get back to another track. Radio Lagos, I want Radio Lagos. Electro Reveni, Radio Lagos. Lagos loaded the car. Young John, wicked producer. Bad bitches on the floor. Don't go, she got that it on top. I want mommy, I want mommy. On the floor, don't go. She got that it on top. I want mommy. I want mommy. I want mommy. I want to take body. Bend it over, bust it up for me. Bend it over, bust it up for me. Bend it over, bust it up for me. Now we move on to the flaws on this album. Shall we? Start. Mm-hmm. So I understand the case for you. Traditionally, the flaws have been all the now we see a young girl who comes into the show and sits at home and wears a dress and stuff. And we understand that you need to do that for a person in the opportunity to be. I'm not sure if you can get a chance to do that for yourself. Young John's son is going to develop it. He's going to hold it to him for a little bit. And then it's why at certain points you can tell your son to hold it. It's lost. Because you're trying to replicate these things over and over again. You have a particular sound, but you're not expanding your beats. And it shows so much. There are beats that are like, I can hear the bass line from all the way around the world. This is someone that, this song says it like, sounds like you're trying to flip the house into the room. And you don't have like a skill yet to execute it. You, to me. you can hear what he's trying to do, but it's not coming out the way you want it to. So yeah, the production is, is, not, is not where it is to be from. Okay. Joey, I well. believe you have some few opposing <laughs> views. <laughs> I feel like Young John gave him the quality he needs for what he was trying to do. The, it might not be the the, 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 the prettiest outfit in the market, but it does its job. For example, you see all of the comments here, you see all the people just screaming sharp music, you know, because it's they connect. Well, it's we know that sometimes level. that Nigerians were not happy with the best judge. The best judge, but, but I, I think at this point, it's about Young John just providing, maybe this floor is all a part of the artistic process, you know. <laughs> well, I, 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 I feel the album could have run a whole lot more. I think he need them. Um, they need more producers, yeah. and also in terms of subject range, you should have included a few other things. I don't feel this is the best album could have come up with. They said they did this album under how many hours? Forty eight hours. I, you feel like a rough case. Street yeah. Oti was more diverse than this. Yeah, big yeah. Yeah. Street Oti is one of the best. Classic. It's top three. Classic. I just feel that you know he just decided, okay, market is hot right now. Who is popping? Let me just drop something for them so that they yeah. can enjoy it. I hold on for December and I kill it. I look for shutdown, I look for, and it's all good. Yeah. 
but I don't feel this is the best. I think I'll put this and your Mayweather on the same level. I actually prefer your Mayweather to some. Uh, my least favorite. Well, well, this is this, this stands, I think, above a uh, Mayweather. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Now, written wise, the hard part. Shagun, over five. It hurts to do this, man, because I understand what Bali was trying to do. Mm -hmm. Like, young boy from Mayweather. Uh, all you have is music and dreams and everything comes to get to this place. I love across the nation and people love you. you want to create something that captures where you come from and embodies the spirit of Lagos, but it doesn't come out well. So it's a two it's a two or five for me. Two or five. Okay. Okay. So where do you stand? For me I feel like Olamide did something really, really sweet here. He tried to conceptualize a, a sound and and offer a mainstream version of it. So uh, a lot of people might not catch on to it. Shagun has his own reservations, yeah, sure. but based on what he did, I understand there are some flaws, yes, but the very fact that he did this and he, he could go this, this but then look at where he is artistically, his head, where his head is, Olamide is all about the dance, the party now, and this sound channels that energy, so with all of this, I, I'd, I'd give him a 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, okay, before I give my review, quick one from Facebook, Ikena Chigas here, Digo says, you are too much, Inspiration to success inspires me to work hard. I'm going to talk about Olam Dinos. Kevin Flohada, bless you, Badu. Okay, at the end of the day, after listening to the album, production was not it for me at all. I don't feel Young John is one of the best people. I he, he gives us hits, but I don't think yeah. he's a producer, producer. He's still a beat maker yeah. and he showed on this album. Subject wise, Olam Day, season 11 to now, should have gone a little bit. And I don't think 48 hours gives you enough time frame for you to experiment with the genre of music. I don't think that is possible. Yeah. So at the end of the day, it's a two and a half for me over five mm -hmm. on Lagos Nawa. I don't think this is the favorite, the best album any artist can do for a Lagos album. We already know the best Lagos album this year. Okay. And that's what we're talking about next week. Okay. I, guys, we're doing a blast. Music 362.0. Alambre's album is out, stream it, buy it, download it, anyhow you guys want it, it's out there for you. And let us know, do you think this album is a 4 over 5? Do you agree with Joy? Is it 3 over 5? Or do you stick with me and check in here and say the album is not it at all? You know what? We'll be here next week and we'll review Ajay Butters 22's latest album, which is titled... What Happens in Lagos. What Happens in Lagos. In Lagos. And that is an album you guys should get your hands on right now, so that we can have a very, very dope episode next week. LT2. Joya can share share with our next week.